Alrighty guys, this is Snugs on Blitz, and I'm back with another video for you today. So the game in this tank, the KPZ 50 ton, the tier 10 German medium tank. Do I like it? Yes. Yes, I do. Anyway, I had a game in this tank, and I wanted to illustrate something. So let's jump right in, and I'll talk you through it. So we're on Ghost Factory. Normally, I would head off to the top right-hand corner here. However, uh, I'm with a platoon buddy, and he's in a fast tank as well. And they've got two mediums as well, so we're even there. But I had a thought in this game, and my buddy, I guess, had the same idea, and that was to flank. Now, flanking is dangerous, but it can also be very successful. There are a few things you need to consider. First of all, flanking in a slow tank is not a good idea, because oftentimes by the time you get around, it's all over. So don't do it in a slow tank. Number two, I recommend uh, don't go alone. Uh, with the two of us here, if we come across the entire enemy force, because we're fast, we can get the heck out of there. If we come across one straggler who's decided to go on his own, we can rip him to shreds. But you see, we're just not even slowing down. We're going as fast as we can to get around the map. And hopefully we'll be able to spot up their TDs if they're sitting at the back. Now we're getting a little close here, so we want to be careful. Don't want to alert everybody that we're here. So I'm just going to pop up here and see. Aha! There he is. There, there's the TD. So boom. And I'm not sitting still. You know, I'm zigging and zagging and moving around. And um, yeah, our team's doing a good job over there, but we've got rid of one of their tanks. And now, because they're battling it out over there, all I have to do is just sit back here and snipe. Yep, that's all I'm going to do this game. Boom, he's gone, so now two tanks are down. So that's great news. And uh, unfortunately, I uh, didn't damage him there. But that one did. Now I'd love to get rid of their Karo. And their FV. And yeah, look at this. An absolutely easy game, thanks to, first of all, our team holding and not rushing to their doom. Because remember, it was seven versus five on this side. But um, thankfully, um, we were able to get around quickly, get rid of their TD that was sitting at the back. And I don't know if you've noticed, but my buddy and I are both full health. Yeah. I haven't done much damage in this game. Uh, I suppose I could have if I got closer, but I was like, we're doing great, so there's no need for me to do anything. Now I'm going to push on in here because it's all over. Um, if things had been more dangerous, I might have had to push in earlier, but I didn't need to. So why bother? As you can see, I've only done a minuscule amount of damage, but who cares? You know? Anyway, the point of this video is flanking. When you should do it, how you should do it, and with which tanks you should do it. Just remember, flanking doesn't work if you're alone and you're a slow tank. Usually it nearly always leads to death and destruction for your team. Can it work? Sure. But usually what happens is if you go alone in a slow tank, you either get circled to death because people know you're alone, or your team is at a disadvantage because you're not able to help them. So that's all I got for you. Short little video. Hope that helped. See you next time. Snugs on Blitz. Out.